In this video, we're going to have a quick look at um, how to find the shape of a magnetic field by two methods. Uh, first is using iron filings, and the next method is using what's called a plotting compass. Now, if I play this video, uh, this is finding the shape using um, iron filings. And what I'm going to do, you can see I've put the bar magnet on a tray there and put a piece of clear perspex on top of that. Next thing I'm going to do is sprinkle the iron filings over the top of that. Uh, and the iron filings, as it says, very, very tiny shavings of iron that are, well, are magnetic materials. So what they do is as they fall down, they get attracted and line up with the magnetic field lines um, of the bar magnet. And what you can see here is the field lines are starting to form. Now there's a few interesting things happening you can start to see these kind of um, circular shapes starting to form as well as out here kind of coming out that way and going that way you see these lines what you can also see is in this bit a kind of almost halo around where there's no iron filings now what that is is all these mag these pieces of iron are attracted towards the magnet um, at this point here the friction between the iron and the magnet is too strong and it's getting attracted sliding along the plastic um, the perspex and arriving um, at um, the pole of the magnet whereas out here there's enough to turn the iron filings and cause them to line up with the field line but not enough to attract all the way down so you see this kind of halo because the field is too strong, the magnetic force is too strong, they attract across. So if we carry on, uh, the shape appears more the more filings are put on. But in a minute, what you'll see is I start tapping it. And as I tap it, you can see quite a lot of definition appears there. There you go, just pointing that out. So quite a lot of definition appears because when you tap the um the glass <laughs> um so the um the clear plastic then what happens is that tap just causes enough of a kind of vibration to allow the um iron filings to kind of jump a little bit and line up so it just helps overcome the friction and when you do that you can see these lovely clear lines start to appear and these are the magnetic field lines around the bar magnet so that is um, the method to find the shape of the magnetic field using iron filings. Now another method, if I put this to one side, is going to unfortunately have to rub out our title, using a plotting compass. Uh, now unfortunately, um, due to the lockdown, I don't have my plotting compasses with me. What I do have is an actual compass. So I'm going to try my best uh, to show the phenomena well show the practical um, without using it now the only difference between a plotting compass and a normal one a plotting compass this would be a lot smaller and um, you wouldn't have the whole thing around it you just have this circular bit with the actual compass and the way this worked is I draw around my bar magnet like that I'm just going to neaten this up a bit and very, very carefully line the bar magnet back up with what I've drawn and what I'm then going to do is mark some points and if I mark those two end ones what I'm going to do is line the compass needle up with the point I've drawn and imagine if you didn't have the surrounding bit this would be a lot easier and I'm going to draw a point on where that arrow is pointing and that if I connect them up is our straight field line going out of north. And if we do the same thing on this side, then I get my point heading out this way. Now I've just nudged that so I need to get it back. Now you will get field lines coming out um, sort of cert, you know in this sort of shape from the magnet. And the way I'm going to do that is I draw a point over here exactly the same process what I'm going to do make sure I don't nudge the magnet but line the needle up there and if you watch um, in fact I'm going to go a little bit further over 
the needle points this way but then as I get over here you can see it starts to change direction as I get over here it's then pointing back in obviously the resolution on this isn't very good um, because of the size of the compass compared to our paper but we can see the shape of the field there now um, if I did this at multiple points around it what I would do is build up um, a symmetrical field pattern like this um, and I know which end is north because if I put the magnet on the south pole of the magnet attracts here which means that's north and the field lines go from north into south and that is our two methods for finding the shape of magnetic field so in one of my earlier videos that is the full shape just ignore this squiggly bit that is a mistake okay